All right. <clears throat> Too windy <clears throat> to uh, map yeah, side down, but hi, sweetie. Come on, pay attention. Good God. Got Dick Del Monte reporting in here. Dick Del Monte. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> professor Mass. So, so that was a good one. But I prefer still the professor thickness and density. I don't know. Do you have any suggestions? Nope. All right. Okay. <sighs> the Sultan of Succulents. How about that? It's the Sultan of Succulents reporting. Um, actually, let me just talk about yesterday's workout. We just consumed the, uh, <clears throat> the hell's it called, Mom? You moved the freaking mask in here. Yeah, it's in your supplement cabinet. Serious mass. They want a serious mass of the books. Okay. Uh, weight was pre pre pretty similar. Maybe a pound heavier. Maybe a pound heavier, but I'll tell you what, the pound, most certainly, you know when they say you're feeling thick, solid, and tight? I definitely feel that way, but only in my gut. Okay? Arms, not so much. Waist, thick, solid. Just thick and solid. Definitely that tight. Feels <laughs> like a... Uh, Okay, let's talk about the experience, shall we? So I had I feel very tired this morning. Uh, I was farting all night. Yeah, that's right. Just couldn't get sleep because of the gas. All right. Now is that for the two uh, two hundred and fifty three grams of maltodextrin sugar powder? Could be. Uh, I mean, I also had some, uh, you know, some. Uh, I can down, tell you're tired. Sucked down a, a bunch of these yesterday. Sucked down these quick cooks. Olive oil, sea salt, quinoa, brown rice, lentil blend. 420 calories per pouch. Okay, I think I had like three of those. Putting that at 1,260 calories. That quick math with some garbanzos mixed in there. Putting that... Uh, how many, how many calories in some garbanzos? Pretty... Um, yeah, you know, I'm getting... You can look. Right there. Matter, damn it, Mama. <laughs> it's probably... It's like roughly shy... Just shy of 2,000 calories of fibrous content. So that also that could have been causing the uh, insomnia with flatulence and bloat. But uh, anyway, somebody else mentioned this in the comments about how they had headaches when they were taking the serious mass... And that is something I noticed. Uh, headed to the gym, had a serious headache, and then I went to go do some T-bar rows. And brother, was that that waist was thick, solid, and bloated. So when I was bending over, it was very uncomfortable. Maybe switch exercises here. But fellas, let me also say that you know that's that those those are the cons. The pros were, and I told mom this. I said, listen, I had a substantially more energy. It seemed starting this gym sesh, almost so much so that I was horsing weights. And Mama can attest to this. I'm not making this up. I walked over to Mama, kind of like in a chicken-like dance, remember? Mm -hmm. And I said, I feel like the the head, the, like the head rooster, head chicken or something. You said something like that. Yeah. And you were literally like doing the, the, the rooster, chicken dance like kind of thing in the middle of the gym. Like, yeah. Well, and then she got all like offended as if I wanted to have... I wanted to mate with all the hens. <laughs> I didn't get offended. Just thinking, I just said that's that. what it sounds like. Of course, the sexual content. <laughs> but anyway, so I Googled this, and it turns out that there is a terminology for the the head rooster, the head of the coop, and that is the top chook, okay? I'll be going by the Chook, all right? Ricky the Chook Del Hagen, okay? So, uh, also, the Chook's gonna take his blood sugar now. 
So that's something else we forgot to do. That'll be the last update for now. But uh, yeah, I mean, listen, let me tell you something. You're gonna have some gastrointestinal distress for sure. Right? You might not sleep at night from extreme flatulence, but uh, you're gonna have some horse energy in the in the stable that we call the gym. Um, will you pay attention to me, Mama? It's a prick. Should we do this? The blood flow in there. Prick this sucker. Prick that sucker. I'm gonna prick it. I'm prick it. Oh. 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 Moment of truth. Day two, serious mass. How has the blood glucose been affected? 96. Is that lower? No, it's eight points higher than yesterday. Well, no, because yesterday it was no, 88, it was but then when we redid it. It was 92, oh. and that's after I sucked down four cups of coffee. Oh, and this is pre-coffee right now. That's eight points higher. Okay. That's one day of serious mass. Eight points up. Okay, so just so no one's confused, that was 92 after the coffee. We didn't show the 88. So I know, but it was people 88. People are going to think you can't do math. I know, I'm just saying from the 88. It was 88, I sucked down four cups of coffee, it went to 92, this morning I sucked down zero cups of coffee so far, it's 96. That's eight point rise in blood glucose in one day. Okay. We don't know if it's related yet, but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, we're gonna, that's why just, we're doing the experiment. Yeah. And now we're gonna potentially head to the gym that's an hour away. And the dogs think your serious mass bag is like a dog treat oh, bag oh, or something. I think that's why she's just... Yeah, just glued to me every time <laughs> talking about serious mass. <laughs> oh, she's getting so excited. Don't trick her. Oh, Lulu. <laughs> <laughs> Poor baby. Right. Oh, she's so sad. Let's uh, suck down some coffee, uh, take some serious mass, and then drive an hour to the gym. And be extremely lethargic and tired after an hour drive. <laughs> that is what happens. I'll probably have an uh, extreme case of diarrhea as we, right when we get to the gym for a, to kick off a hell of a gym sesh. Yeah. All right. All Ricky right. B, a.k.a. Top Chook, reporting up. <laughs>